Hi, John. I did up a document for you um, to kind of explain what the process is to show you what the outcome will be. So I just did, picked a video about the Electoral College. Quite honestly, it was good for me to watch as well. So what I did to find that video is I went to YouTube and I, of course, you know, you can search anything you'd like, um, but I did the Electoral College Explained. These TED Ed are excellent. So then I took that the URL and I copied it and then I have my own Edpuzzle account so when you have your Edpuzzle account you can just go ahead to my content and create and when you do a new video you just paste it in here and then search and it comes up with a video you have the options up here you can crop the video you can um, add audio track. I like to add audio notes. So basically what I do is I say the questions out loud, but the kids write them on their paper. I think for our special education students, that is very helpful. You can also put questions in right over here, but then you're going to have to be on the computer correcting them. And I know that's not always convenient because we don't have the devices yet. So eventually when we get more devices, I think that will be handier. But for now, the way I do it, and even my eighth graders can do this, is I do it with audio notes. So if I clicked audio note, I have a microphone. If you don't have a microphone, I will get you one. And you play the video. And then whenever you want to add an audio note, you just click on here, say whatever your note is, stop. And then you can remove the last note. You can play it, um, back it up. You can hear what it sounds like. So you can do that anywhere in the video. I realize that's super fast and I can come over there and help you um, do that, but I'm sure you can figure it out. You click save and then you click finish. Now I did do a class for you, but really the best way now, like I said, without everybody having devices is to share with anyone. So I just put this link in the Google document. I'm hoping it works. Sometimes it's hard to tell because I own the document and I'm also logged in here. So if that link doesn't work, please let me know. So that's the Ed Puzzle part. So then I put that link in here. Now how you want to share that link with the students, you might want to put it on your class pages. Um, I can show you how to do a QR code if the kids are using their phones, if you don't know how to do that. Um, but we can discuss that if this is something that you'd like to use. So I just did a Google document. These are the questions I chose to do. They might be too simple for you. I'm going to share this with you like this. And I'm going to give you editing rights. So that means that it's your document. You can add, delete, you can do whatever you want with it. So I'm going to send that to you right now. And I'll also send the video via email. So the students would play the video. And these are all of my tracks that I have in there, all the questions that I asked. Watch the video carefully and answer the questions on your paper when indicated. So when the note is on, they can't, um, and they cannot fast forward. They can rewind, but they cannot fast forward, which is awesome. So they would just have a paper in front of them that you photocopied and play the video with headphones or as homework, and then write their answers in. Now, once they're finished with that, then we can talk about the things you want to do after that for discussion or for, you know, to talk about a little bit further. I'm hoping this is what you wanted. So again, you have access to this, so you can send it to the print shop. This link, you can um, share it with your students either on your um, homepage or you can do it with a QR code, like I said, if they're all using phones. Um, I'm not really sure how you typically share links, but you probably already have a preferred method. Um, some teachers are using Google Classroom, which we're all going to get to um, pretty soon. So I'm hoping this is helpful to you. If you want me to come over there and follow up with you after school sometime, I can do that. Um, please just let me know or let Sarah know that you'd like a little further information. Okay, hope it works.